We cover reopening weekend right now. What is up, everyone? Welcome to this episode of Damien Does Disney, which is also known as D3. In this episode, we're going to cover reopening weekend here at Downtown Disney for the first week of February. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thanks for your support. I know you have a lot of other options out there to get your Disney fix. I really appreciate you. For those of you who are already a part of the D3 family, welcome back to the ride. All right, everyone, like I said in the intro, it's the first week of February. How cool is that? The year is flying by here in 2021. Like I said before, folks, we're going to cover opening weekend for all the restaurants that have been closed for a while since November. We're going to see which ones have been reopened since then, have opened up since then, and the restaurants that are still currently closed. And of course, we're going to check out if there's any extension here at Disney's California Adventure on Buena Vista Street. With that being said, folks, let's start our journey. All right, everyone, first up on our list of closures, the La Brea Bakery here at Downtown Disney is still closed right now. Unfortunately, we do not know, we do not have a date, an opening date, that the La Brea Bakery will be reopened. With that being said, folks, let's continue our walk. All right, everyone, next up on our list, two restaurants that are currently closed is Starbucks. This Starbucks is right on the western end, next to the western entrance of the World of Disney Store. Unfortunately, we do not know when the Starbucks will be open. However, we can over right across the Starbucks. We have Nathan. The Nathan's restaurant is now open with patio seating. That's just outstanding food right here. They have just Italian food. So, you guys here at Downtown Disney, come over and check out Nathan. All right, everyone. As we continue our journey throughout Downtown Disney, as you can see, the only piece of Rio is now open with patio seating which is also located on the opposite end of Naples restaurant. Right across from Naples, you can see Jamba Juice is now open for business. That's a cool sight to see. And we turn back around, as we walk towards the center of downtown Disney, you can see Salt and Star is currently back open for business. How cool is that? Even though it's 60 degrees out here in California, people love their ice cream. With that being said, folks, let's continue our walk through downtown Disney. see right out here the Uber Bar is currently open. The Uber Bar Grill Bar and Restaurant is currently open here with patio seating here at downtown Disney. However the indoor patio seating for the Uber Bar is currently closed. And last but not least folks here in the heart of downtown Disney my heart is broken because Sprinkles Sprinkles Cupcakes is still currently closed at this time. We do not know when Sprinkles Cupcakes will be reopened. Um, I'm so disappointed right now, but hey, hopefully it will be reopened in a couple of weeks. With that being said, folks, let's see you our walk through downtown Disney. All right, everyone, we're on the other side of the Black Tap restaurant, right in the front of the Black Tap uh, shake window. You can see there's a patio seating for the Black Tap restaurant. However, I believe behind the Black Tap, Black Tap restaurant, this bill is still currently closed at this time. I believe this is just extended seating for the Black Cat restaurant. However, right across from the Black Cat restaurant, you have Torita Joe's, which is kind of amazing Mexican food right over here, right in front. We're going to continue our journey right in front here. You see the patio seating for Torita Joe's is currently open for outdoor seating. How cool is that? However, right across from Torita Joe's, you have the Ralph Brennan Gas Kitchen. Outdoor seating is still currently closed at this time. We do not know when the Ralph Brennan Jazz Kitchen will be open again. I think as well, I believe, the, the Express for the Jazz Kitchen Express is still currently closed at this time. With that being said, folks, we'll continue to walk further down to the western end of downtown Disney. All right, everyone, we are here near the main entrance of downtown Disney. As you can see right in front of me, this is going to be the new, the new home of the new Star Wars store. 
How awesome is that? Now, if you guys are not familiar with this place, this used to be the home of the Rainforest Cafe for many, many years since downtown Disney had opened. But as you can see, they are transforming this former restaurant into an amazing, amazing retail space. It's going to be so awesome when it opens. Again, this is going to be the home of the new Star Wars Galaxy's Edge store here at downtown Disney. With that being said, folks, we'll continue our walk. And last but not least, folks, we cannot leave out Earl of Sandwich, which is located near the main entrance of downtown Disney, is currently open with patio seating. Earl of Sandwich has some amazing, amazing sandwiches, and also awesome, some other incredible treats. If you want to check out the video I did on the best of downtown Disney, Earl of Sandwich is one of my favorite restaurants. Check out that video. I'll probably put a link up for you guys to enjoy. With that being said, folks, let's head over to Disney's California Adventure. All right, everyone, we are back here at the entrance of Disney's California Adventure. We're about to check out all that is new if there has been any extensions to any of Buena Vista Street. Right now, let's go check it out. All right, everyone, as we walk down the heart of Buena Vista Street, as you can see, it's wide open right now. Hardly no crowds right now, folks. Pretty cool. Like I said, folks, after you get through the initial parking and everything like that, it's pretty steady crowd here, especially over here in DCA. Hopefully, in a month or, in a month or so, things will get a little bit busier and more of the park will be open. Let's continue on further down on the Vista Street. All right, everyone, we're at the heart of DCA here by the Vista Street. As you can see in the distance, Smoke Jumpers Grill is still currently closed right now. Hopefully, it'll be open within a week or so. But we pan over towards the main entrance next to the Cafe Circle, which is currently still closed, I believe, right now for outdoor seating as well. There's just some little bit of seating area right behind the Cafe Circle, right on the other side of the Grizzly River Run, where you have like some tables you can sit enjoy your outdoor snacks. With that being said, folks, let's continue our walk over towards Hollywood Boulevard. All right, everyone, as we walk down Hollywood Boulevard, as you can see, like I said before, that day circle is still closed right now, unfortunately, both indoor and outdoor seating right now. Over here, we can down Hollywood Boulevard as well. I believe the Hollywood, going to go on Hollywood store as we walk up on it right now. Is it still open? I've heard rumors that it's going to be closed for good. Let's go further up Hollywood Boulevard to see if this is true. I love this part of DCA, by the way. Nice and cool. Yep, it is. Going to Hollywood is still closed. We do not know if it's going to actually reopen or not. But as we continue our walk down Hollywood Boulevard, the usuals are still open. You have off the page is still open as well. And let's see, let's walk further down, see how far we could go down Hollywood Boulevard. Is War Winters? No. Or War Winters is still closed right now. <laughs> I would think you would think some of these places over here would be open, but unfortunately not at this time. But War Winters is still closed. And we walk so further down. The trolley's here. Smoothies is still closed here in DCA. So, although I think they called back about 230 cast members, I guess they hopefully will be back here working soon at these small eateries here at DCA. I believe this is the furthest you could go down here, here at DCA. There's a road right there by the Hyperion Theater. You turn around here, you go through Hollywood Studios, same merch, I think the same merch they had for my last episode. With that being said, folks, let's continue on home. Back through DCA. All right, everyone, so far for opening weekend here at DCA or at Downtown Disney, it's pretty steady. Nothing too, nothing's changed that much here, actually here in DCA. Most of the restaurants are still closed right now during this first week of February. So hopefully, by Valentine's weekend, we should have more restaurants open here in DCA. That should be amazing. Other than that, folks, hey, the restaurants, other, other restaurants here at Downtown Disney are open, which I was surprised to see. So anyway, only thing besides the Jazz Kitchen, the Ralph Brennan Jazz Kitchen in Downtown Disney, that's the only one that's still closed right now. With that being said, folks, let's continue our walk. Well, folks, there you have it. This concludes this episode where we cover all that is open, reopened here at Downtown Disney for the first week of February of 2021. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode like I did. All right, everyone. Countdown alert. We're about 30 days out before we go to Disney World. Yes, indeed, folks. I'll be at Disney World the first week of March of this year. That's going to be so much fun. Hey, if you guys have not already subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel so you can follow me on my journey while I go to Disney World. And also, in the meantime, if you guys are still having Disney language off like so many people are, feel free to check out my fun library where I have amazing Disney tips and fun Disney adventures to help you get your Disney fix. Thanks again for watching, folks. Remember, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button below and feel free to share this video. More important, if you like me, go ahead and click that subscribe button below and become a member of the D3 family. And remember to click that notification bell so you get notified soon as I drop some of the latest Disney news. And last but not least, folks, remember to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and also on Twitter. See you guys soon.